there. The next award is the Sexiest Host Award. As I said before, I think it's over here personally, but there you go. It has to be to someone else. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is about the personalities behind your parties, the maitre d's of the nightlife world. You can guarantee if you've got sexy guys and girls in your clubs, it might have something to do with the sexy host on the door. So anyway, let's have a look at those sexy motherfuckers who are being nominated this year. And the phrase sexy is, uh, I'm not too sure that's a matter of opinion. What makes me so sexy? Uh, nothing really, people just like me. You might find me sexy, you might not, that's completely up to you. Because I wax my balls. I've always tried to make sure that it's, it's my job to make sure that everyone else has a great night first and foremost. Uh, no set plan. Look, 55, look at that figure. No agenda. Make sure everyone else gets laid, make sure everyone else gets drunk. Take things as they come and roll with the moment, always roll with the moment. I think I have to thank my parents for start. I'm a genuinely nice guy and uh, people keep coming back, so I must do something right. People seem to like me, girls seem to like me, boys seem to like me, you seem to like me. Everyone thinks I'm saying the tr girls trust me. I think a good sunbed and a good salary also helps. Not drinking before 2am in the morning, it's a winner. Mark Armstrong likes me, Robert Perino likes me, and I can't tell you about Roger Michael. He likes me. I think I'm the sexiest host, right? Because I'm enduring. I last, I last a lifetime. OK, 